Hi there, this video I'm going to go through the setup for OneNote uh, based on Teams. So uh, your Teams will be created automatically for your classes. So uh, here's some of the codes that you will get. They'll probably be at the bottom of your list if you're looking at the tile view here. Or if you want to, uh, you can just separate out and just say, OK, I want to just look at the classes uh, that I've got and then that'll be a little bit easier to see. Or if you're not in this view, you might want to switch back to the, the normal view, which is that list view. Uh, a, a lot of people may have that, that list view with your teams down the side. I'm going to stick with the, the grid view. So if you do that little um, filtering there, you can see here's these new classes that have been created automatically from the timetable. And I'm going to go in there and I'm going to set up the OneNote for that class. Now. Uh, depending on when you're seeing this video, your students will be waiting to join that class. So we can uh, give them access to this team and give them access to the OneNote when we uh, determine rather than doing it days before class starts. So uh, depending on when you're seeing this, I've just got one student in there. In a few days time that will be the number of students that is in this class here. And uh, all you need to do is click on activate. I'm not going to do it yet and then the students will get the notification that they're members of the team and then have access to the class notebook. So what I'm going to do is go to set up class notebook in here. So then we click on set up a OneNote class notebook and choose from existing notebook contact if you have a notebook that has uh, content that you want to move over into this one, say a previous year of material that you want to put into this one, choose that one, or you can set it up from scratch. So I'm going to choose from existing notebook content. You'll see what you get in that notebook and down the bottom of the page just click on next. Alright, so choose the content that you want to copy into this notebook. Alright, so you've got either the content library or the teacher only section that you can add content into. So what you can do is begin searching your notebooks for the content that you want to take across. So I'm going to choose this notebook here and click on next. Let's look at the things in the content library so that you can see that these are the sections that are in the content library. So I'm going to choose that one and that one and that one. Uh, those three and in the teacher only section if there's anything in there I'm going to bring those across as well from the teacher only section and click on done. We can also add content in the teacher only section. This is going into the content library. And so now all of those sections there are going to automatically be transferred across to this new OneNote that I'm creating. The rest of the setup is as before. So we can define what are now are the sections that are going to be included in the student individual notebook. So for my uh, case here, I'll just go with uh, handouts and class notes. That's fine. I can always edit those later and I'm just going to click on next. It will then go ahead and get your class notebook ready and set up. Once your notebook is ready you can then open in the browser or open it in the app. So you certainly can use the notebook from within Teams as it is uh, but you also I think a lot easier to use it actually within the OneNote app. Notice if I look in the content library now these sections here have been copied across from the previous year's uh, OneNote. So it's a lot easier and simpler to do that uh, rather than having to do that manually later on. So I'm going to go open in app which will then open up this OneNote within the OneNote app and you can work with it from there. Now I have the new notebook open in OneNote, um, I'm going to do a few things. First of all is get rid of this generic material here, okay? So write your own welcome, put your pictures in there. Welcome to uh, Year 7. Okay, welcome. So remember there's no students involved yet until you activate them and back in that team there. Uh, get rid of this FAQ, so just delete that page. Um, same in the collaboration space, just using the collaboration space. Maybe for new students that's great, for, for most students they don't need that page. Uh, you can see the sections that have been uh, copied across. But this section about using the content library, it's in every OneNote. I just go ahead and delete that section straight away. People don't need to see it. Uh, it just makes it a little bit cleaner. So delete those pages, get your welcome page ready. That's what the students will first see uh, when they go onto your OneNote. So, you know, put in things like a, a, an image or something like that. So you can go to pictures and from online and I can put in something like um, uh, problem 
solving. This will show me a whole heap of pictures to do with problem solving, so I like that one there. So I can just select it and it'll put in my OneNote. So it's a nice way to get started of um, making your OneNote cover page, your welcome page, a bit more attractive, getting rid of all of the uh, generic pages in there.